All right, in this video, I'm just gonna talk about linking graphics into Photoshop. Now, normally we embed graphics into Photoshop and I have a little picture down here. But what I could do, I'm just gonna click and drag it directly into the workspace. Now, this there's a couple different ways to bring it in. If I do that, it'll size it up directly to the size of the current canvas that's on there. That's usually actually another good thing because the picture actually could be much bigger or much smaller. Uh, so it'll force it to be the size of the artboard and that's one way to do it, which is fine. I'm just gonna press enter. And I see now it's a smart object automatically, which is fine. And of course it is not linked. Now I do have an option here in the properties panel to change it and convert it to linked. Okay, that's interesting. Now we know that we can link or embed graphics. If we embed it, all that information goes directly into the program, making the file size bigger, but you don't have to worry about organizing your files because nothing's gonna break or anything like that when you have a linked folder or a linked graphic. However, if we were to convert to linked, now all of a sudden that information is not gonna be inside the Photoshop document, making the file size much smaller, but the information will need to be stored in a linked graphic somewhere organized, hopefully you have an organized project folder that has all the information. So let's look at this a couple different ways. I'm also gonna bring this image in as a linked graphic. Well, how do we do that? Normally, I, like I said, I just dragged it in or normally I could drag it into Photoshop and here it is in a separate tab and I could also click and drag and bring it into here and then there it is. Now remember, see this is the proper size of that image. So you can drag images directly to the workspace but it will shrink it down like that. Or what you should do is open it up in its own tab by either dragging it onto the Photoshop icon or file and open. And that's the other way to do it. And it gets into a new document, new tab, and you just click and drag and bring it in or click off the lock, command C or control C on a PC, uh, command C and then bring it into your document, command V, same idea. Okay, so a few different ways to bring it in. Well, now here's the other way to bring it in. I'm gonna get rid of that one there. I go to file and now I can place embedded so I can place the embedded one. Well, that's kind of what I just did. But if I place linked, well, now I can go and take a look for that image, place it. And now I press enter again. And this is a linked file. How do I know it's a linked file? Well, I can see up here linked. This one is linked and this one is not. This is just a smart object, but this is a linked smart object, which is great. Uh, I can click on that. I see that it says linked smart object. Great. It shows me the path down here. And I could re reveal in the finder, relink to a file, a few different things here, which, you know, whatever I can do, which is totally fine. Now I could reverse both of these. So the one that is linked, I could actually convert it and make it embedded, or I can convert it back to linked, but it's going to say, where do you want to save it? I'm going to cancel that for a second. Uh, let me bring this back to being linked. Same here. I could say uh, convert to linked. Okay. Well, this is great. Where do you want to save it? And how do you want to save? It? What's the name of it? And where do you want to save it? Because remember a linked graphic needs to be linked properly somewhere. So Photoshop knows where it is to recall that information, to go back to be like, oh, this is the information you're talking about. This is now, this one is just a preview of what it looks like without all the information in it. This one is the embedded version with all the information in it. And like I said, it makes your file size a little bit bigger. So ideally, if you already have images on your Photoshop file that you're like, oh my, my Photoshop file is really, really big, not a problem, convert to linked. And then you just got to save them in another folder, which is fine. If you haven't really started anything yet and you want to bring in linked files, cause you know, it's going to be a lot of graphics you're bringing in maybe they're really big or whatever file place linked. And then you can go and place them in properly. Like we would do an illustrator of Photoshop or sorry, illustrator in design. And I hope that helps.